Well, as the great Yogi Berra used to say, nobody comes to this lake anymore. It's always too busy. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching England Anarchy, and it's a Saturday morning, so the lake should be a little bit busy, but luckily, we're one of the only musky boats out here. There's a lot of crappie and bass fishermen, so hopefully not too many people to contend with for these toothy critters that we are fishing for here in Iowa. And I am fishing with two of my very good friends, Matt Vavrock, he's casting right behind me there. Matt Vavrock Fishing is the YouTube channel, and I'm running the trolling motor. And in the very back there, the blurry little kid with the visor on, that's Ben Stone. <laughs> Canalgratis.com is his YouTube channel. It's very good as well. Both of those will be in the description below. We are blessed with such an awesome day today. We had really good fishing yesterday so we're out here trying to do the same thing we've got high skies today yesterday we had a little bit of cloud cover so i think that was helping us yesterday but it's springtime so sun and warming up the water is not necessarily a bad thing we've got 54 to 56 degree water temps they're going to be rising throughout the day we've got a little bit of wind blowing i think we have all the conditions that we need to catch some iowa spring muskies so i'm going to stop yapping we're going to start fishing and see if we can put one of these in the boat for you i like when you're drinking the janitor he's like it barely makes minimum wage gotta clean up puke the sawdust <laughs> <laughs> When you wake that bud monkey in the yard, all you might as well just have to start too far and get the first one with head. Fight the fish. Is this the bear? I don't think so. How did you not get hooked? I know. Oh. He came up and nosed it, man. Dude, he grabbed it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I heard it, I, I heard the rails go when he came up and hit it. Grab that thing. It, was, it was one of those 32s. 30, 32s, but that's all right. We'll just, we'll, we'll run into, I was the one that started it. <laughs> huh. Well, that and that's why I was like, oh, you know, if I get one in a figure eight and it comes up and hit it, it, those these hooks should be tacky enough that it'll stick. No, not even then. Or he just like, I think he just got, got it, it in the wrong spot. Yeah. He did. He kind of. All right, everybody. I switched over, downsized a little bit. This is a Berkeley Juke. I've got it on my seven foot Saint Croix medium heavy with the Curado Super Free. Um, just had a little guy come in on it. Pretty neutral i would say and gave it a couple pops got him to come up and hit it and just couldn't get the hooks to stick so i think i'm going to stick with this we're going to downsize a little bit we haven't seen much after the first two fish so that's the plan i'm going to throw this and see if we can get one to go on it Yeah. Oh. He was right on that thing. Was he really? Was not anymore. Huh. Yeah, I, I just I wanted to see it, but I didn't want to stand up too fast. <laughs> you might have got him on that one. Okay. Yeah. I would, I would clip that one. Yeah. I think he... Did you just pull him off the shore here? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's about, that's about where that one was that one time. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on, keeping it right in the strike zone. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That looks like a nice fish pen. Yeah? I mean, how big do you think? Okay. I looked down and it just, it, it look, I just haven't seen one in a while, maybe. <laughs> it looked nice. Came down. All right, well, that's straight up. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's another one. That's weird. It's like four degrees. I mean, other than the wind has been, I mean, pushing out of there for the most part the last two days. Nice fish. Nice, oh my gosh. It just took a swipe at it down there. Dude, that was... I think I just had one come in too, dude. I'm not even That was a big fish, boys. That was a big fish. Was, I had one right behind it, and it kind of nudged it, and... <sighs> just kind of sailed off. Um, it was, like, easily 42. So, yeah, that's a... That's, Kind of too bad. I'm not certain that I didn't have one coming in low on mine when you oh, got really? that one. Oh, really? Because I thought you were talking about behind mine. Oh, oh, no. Awesome. All right, everybody. Um, it's been a halfway decent day today so far. Despite not having a muskie in the boat, we have had six up. I actually had one come up and hit a bait. We never got hooks into it. It was a smaller fish. Just had a beautiful fish up on one of the Kodiak the new blunt nose the five and a half inch glide bait it it's a really nice bait it gets down in the water column i'd say probably a foot deeper than most other glide baits that size so i've been rocking that had a nice one up on that so that we're just going to keep doing this all day we've got high we've had high skies all day i think that's kind of what turned these fish off a little bit but the sun is warming the water up we've got water temps anywhere from 53 to 57 and we should be able to bump into something before the day is over, I really hope. So we're gonna get back to fishing, see if we can do it. Either that or it's just nice and everyone wants to try and catch them. <laughs> yeah, is it because it's nice or it's because word's getting out? Yeah. <laughs> or <so>. both. Yeah. <laughs> something. I got something. Okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's just a big old bucket. Big bucket, yep. A Medusa bucket. Medusa <laughs> bucket. Thank you, sir. There you go. Appreciate the assist on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Surprised we hadn't caught one on rubber. You know? Yeah. He wasn't feeling quite as heavy as he should have for his feet. That's cool. You want to get a camera out for this guy or not? Yeah. No, just, this is good. Just all right. chest cam it. <laughs> nice. Well, there's a three pounder for you. That's about what he is. Nice fish. Yeah, thanks, dude. We'll get him back. All right, buddy. Go home. That was exciting for a minute. Fish. Right here. No, no, no. Right here, right here. Just stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Okay. Nice fish, dude. Nice freaking fish. Nice freaking fish. Let's freaking go. Dude, he nailed that thing. He didn't hit it hard. There was just weight there. There was just Dude, weight there. That had to be the one that we saw the other day. I was just going to say, I wonder if that fish that we saw tailing is still here. <laughs> Perhaps he nice is. Nice freaking fish. Dude, yes. Wow, that was cool. Let's take a look at this fish. Nice chunky fish. On the blunt nose glide. What a beautiful fish. How cool is that, guys? All right, we're gonna take a look at her. She's a little beat up from the spawn.
37 and a half. All right. What an awesome fish, guys. That's an insane <laughs> eat. Yeah. She is a warrior, man. She is beat up from the spawn, so let's get her back in the water, okay? You got the other cam, Ben? Yep. I'll let Ben get in there. All right, sweetie, let's get you back in. There she goes. Just straight now. Wow. Nice. That was so cool. I thought that fish was bigger. I just do. As thick as it was. But, man, we'll take it. We've been grinding all day. Finally got our muskie. All right, guys, this little blunt nose really just paid off for us uh, big time. That fish had this thing absolutely T-boned. Um, that was so cool. I just was lamenting the fact that I never seem to get these fish to hit when I find warm water like everybody says they should. And uh, that's when the fish hit, back in the 60 degree water. So we're gonna keep fishing because things seem to be happening. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of a, another lovely musky fishing day. I want to thank my good friends, Matt Bavrock. Matt Bavrock Fishing is the YouTube channel, and he was our host. I'll be staying with him a couple more days. Ben Stone, on the other hand, in the back, he has to head back to Minnesota. His channel is canalgratis.com. You should check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff on both these guys' channel, and you should go watch some of it. As I said, Matt and I have a couple more days of fishing coming up, so we are going to call today a little bit short. It's a success. We got one fish in the boat, saw a couple others. Uh, but yes, we need to prepare for a longer drive tomorrow. We're going to be fishing with a couple other people, so that's what we're going to do. With that, I appreciate every single one of you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.